Hello, in this video we're going to solve and graph the reaction function curves from a Bertrand model where the two firms have differentiated products. So here's our setup. We have two firms. The output of firm 1 is given as follows. Firm 1 has a constant marginal cost of $2. Firm 2's output or demand is as follows. And firm 2 also has the same cost structure. Marshall cost is constant at $2. All right, so we're going to maximize profit. This is from firm 1's perspective. Firm 1's profit is total revenue minus total cost. Price times quantity is firm 1's total revenue. And its total cost is going to be 2, which is marginal cost, which is constant, multiplied by the units of output would be firm 1's total cost. I factored out firm 1's output on the right hand side, so just rewriting firm 1's profit like this. And our next step is I'm going to plug in firm 1's demand for Q subscript 1, which we saw on the last slide was given by this equation. We can simplify the right hand side by taking firm 1's price and multiplying it by 1400 to get this, then firm 1's price times 100 times firm 2's price, we get this, firm 1's price multiplied by minus 200 firm 1's price, we get this, and then minus 2 times 1400 plus minus 2 times plus 100 p subscript 2 and so on. So just simplifying that. Uh, the next step here is I just added this 400 p subscript 1 to 1400 p subscript 1. Everything else is unchanged. And now we're ready to maximize profit by selecting our choice variable price, trying to find the optimal price. So we take the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to firm 1's price. And we get 1,800 from this. Partial derivative of this next term is 100 times firm 2's price. The partial derivative of this next term here gives us minus 400 times firm 1's price. And the partial derivative of these last two terms just cancel their 0. Because we're maximizing, we set this result equal to 0. Moving on, just rewriting that last step. And we're going to solve for firm 1's price, so moving some things around, dividing through by 400, we have firm 1's reaction function. Give me a, a price for firm 2, and I can give you firm 1's best response. We can graph that function. So over here, I am graphing it as follows. Here's firm 1's price, and here on the vertical axis is firm 2's price. So, for example, if firm 2's price is $6, okay, over here on the vertical axis, firm 2's price is $6. We plug that into firm 1's reaction function. We see firm 1's optimal response is also to charge a price of $6. And you could see that from this equation, if you plug $6 in for P subscript 2, P subscript 1 would equal $6. If we plug $10 in this equation, firm 1's best response would be uh, $7. All right, let's move on to firm 2. So firm 2's uh, going to maximize profit, very similar to what we did with firm 1, so I'll go through it maybe a little bit uh, faster. Firm 2's profit is total revenue minus total cost, where once again, total cost can be thought of as, as marginal cost times the number of units produced for Firm 2. We factor out Firm 2's output. Now for Firm 2's output, we plug in Firm 2's demand. And then we just simplify here algebraically. 1400 P subscript 2 plus 400 P subscript Script 2 gives us this result. Now we take the partial derivative of this profit function with respect to firm 2's price. 
setting that partial derivative equal to zero, we get this result. We're going to now solve this for firm two's price. Doing that, we get firm two's reaction function, and we can graph firm two's reaction function. So firm two's reaction function is shown over here. It's going to be this black line. Vertical intercept of 4.5. And here we can see that if, for example, if firm one charge a price of $6, plugging $6 into this reaction function, firm two would respond by setting a price of $6. Likewise, if firm one set a price of $10, we take this $10, plug it into firm two's reaction function. We could do it mathematically here as well, and firm two would charge a price of $7. So to show the, the, the Nash equilibrium here, we can do it with the equations. We basically have two equations and two unknowns. So we have these reaction functions for each firm. So let's plug firm one's reaction function into firm two's reaction function, or we could do this vice versa, but I'll plug firm one's reaction function up here into firm two's. So where I have P subscript one, I'm plugging in firm one's reaction function. And now we got one equation and one unknown, so it's just a matter of simplifying it. 0.25 times 4.5 gives us 1.125. 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 P subscript P subscript 2 gives us this. Adding some things up on the right hand side. Now subtracting this 0 0.0625. P subscript 2 from both sides. Simplifying the left hand side. And then a little division here, dividing everything through by 0 0.9375. Firm 2 should charge a price of $6. Taking the $6 and plugging it into Firm 1's reaction function. Firm 1 will charge a price of $6. So this is our equilibrium. The equilibrium price is that each firm charges the same price. And we can get the quantity. We could go to Firm 1's demand and plug in those respective prices. And Firm 1 will produce 800 units of output. Likewise, doing the same thing for Firm 2, taking these prices, plugging into Firm 2's demand equation. Firm 2 will also produce 800 units of output. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.